FBI Director Christopher Wray has until today to release documents relating to Biden family business dealings. Earlier, Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy joined Fox and Friends, promising to take action if he doesn't deliver. If he misses the deadline today, I am prepared to move contempt charges in Congress against him. I told him he could redact certain parts of that, names and others, so we wouldn't know methods, but we have a right to see it. He does not have the right to choose what he can and cannot show us. We oversee the FBI, and if he thinks differently, he will soon see a contempt charge in Congress against the director. There is enough problems in the FBI, and I am not going to sit back and allow him to to ignore this. Joining us now, co-host of The Five, Judge Janine Pirro. Judge, thanks for coming on. We're going to talk about your book in just a second, but what, what's your reaction to this? I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that uh, Kevin McCarthy is being serious about this. Look, the amazing part of this is that the FBI, the same crew who took an unverified document, took it to a court to violate someone's Fourth Amendment rights to spy on a president, which unverified document they knew was a lie, and now they're saying they don't want to hand over a a whistleblower's document because it's unverified. I mean, it doesn't get any richer than this. Mm -hmm. And for them to say we're not going to hand it over, they've admitted number one that they have something, and number two that uh, it's not classified. I don't want to see this thing get classified. But good for Kevin McCarthy. And contempt of Congress is a federal crime, and they could go to jail for that. And you know what? The FBI has been so beyond the pale for the last seven years, especially the upper section. I I think it's time for Congress to, to really deal with its oversight over that agency. You have a new book out. Yeah. Here it is, yeah. Crimes Against America. It's not the America you grew up in. No, it's not. It's not. America is no longer a sovereign nation, Ainsley. We are nothing more than a globalist landing spot with benefits for anyone who decides they want to come here and get an education and, and housing and hospitalization, medication. And what we're seeing now is just in this segment now is the fact that the FBI has been weaponized, it's been politicized, and all through crimes against America, I talk about this great nation and the fact that the left is trying to take down our republic. They're doing it in the schools, they're doing it in law enforcement, they're doing it across this country. And in this, in this book, I pretty much lay out an indictment with crimes that are occurring against all of us. You can get the book at judgejbook.com, judgejbook.com. Why do you think this, this message is so important? I think it's important for people to recognize that the greatest nation on earth is literally being taken down by people who hate this country, the people who want to make America last, the people who don't care about the weaponization of agencies, don't care that your kids are being taught about a transgender and, and CRT in schools. And But for COVID, Ainsley, we would never have known about any of this, that the unions are controlling whether or not our kids go to school while they're in school in Russia and China studying quantum quantum physics, our kids are home and suffering from all of the effects of, of the unions not allowing the schools to reopen. So in Crimes Against America, I go through crime by crime. It's an indictment of the Biden administration. It's an indictment of those on the left who think that law and order is a crime. They prefer anarchy. They want social justice. No one knows what social justice is. It's never been defined. And so in the book, I really discuss everything. And you, it's a must read. It really is. This this country is too precious to be taken down by these fools. Yeah, I mean, what happens next? What happens? And this is why elect elections have consequences. These elections are so important. Yeah. What happens to our country, Judge? Well, I think that if, if we don't straighten out the ship soon, that we're going to end up being the socialist nation that a lot of these people want America to be. I mean, it started with Barack Obama, and I talk about this, Joe Biden comes in in the Trojan horse, I'm a moderate, but all of the leftist, socialist, Marxist mentality uh, is, is is filtering through in all the agencies throughout America. And when the institutions of government are being taken down, when they're being radicalized, like, you know, we see the military right now and all this transgender stuff stuff and what's going on in the stores. And the good thing is America is saying, no, we're not going to accept this anymore. America is saying, no, I don't want a tucket bathing suit for my son. I mean, this is craziness. And all of that is in Crimes Against America. Judge, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for waking up early and coming on. Ah, it's good to see you, Good Ainsley. to see you always. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.